Number one says this diagram is a straight edge and compass construction. A is the center of one circle. So let's get that drawn. So A is the center of one circle and B is the center of another circle. Select all of the true statements. So line CD is perpendicular to segment AB, which would be true. This is the perpendicular um, bisector construction. And we know that um, this length here, so from C to A is the same length because it's the, it's the radius of the um, orange circle. And we know that this length is the same because it's the radius of the blue circle. Um, which are both equal to AB. So we know those are the same length. And so then this would be the perpendicular bisector. So this is a very true statement. M is the midpoint of that segment is also true. A, it's a perpendicular bisector. So it splits this AB um, at its midpoint. So that is true. The length AB is equal to um, the length CD. So let's take a look here. So the length AB is equal to the length CD. That would be false. Okay, there's nothing giving us any um, indication there that those are the same. They are not radii of the same circle, nothing like that. Um, segment AM is perpendicular to segment BM. So here would be segment AM. And then this would be segment BM. Those are not perpendicular to each other. Okay, they're just in line with each other. And then would CB, so let's take a look here. So here's C, B, and maybe I should make these bigger so you can see them a little bit better. Um, so there's C, B, and here is um, B, D. So is C, B plus B, D greater than um, C to D, this one? Okay, so is this plus this bigger than this kind of vertical segment here. And that would definitely be true because the shortest distance between two points is when you just connect them. So the shortest distance from C to D, and let me maybe change this color to purple, would be that purple segment. Okay, if you cut out and then go back, not shorter. Number two in this diagram, line segment CD is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. Assume the conjecture that the set of points equidistant from A and B is um, the perpendicular bisector of AB is true. So we talked about that a little in the last example. Is point E closer to A, closer to B, or the same distance? So let's identify this perpendicular bisector here. So C. D is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So we haven't proven this conjecture yet, but what we've talked about is that any point on this green line is the same distance from A as it is from B. So this is kind of splitting up um, all of the points. And so any of the points on, let me get a highlighter. Any of the points on this side of the green segment are going to be closer to A. Any points on this side of the perpendicular bisector are going to be closer to B because they're on the B side. And then anything on this line is going to be the same distance from A as it is from B. So keeping that in mind is E, is point E right here closer to A, closer to B, or the same distance. So we would know from that that E is closer to A because it, whoops, um, because point E is on the same side of the perpendicular 
bisector as point A is. Look on that yellow side, if you will. So that's how we know that it's closer to A. Number three, um, starting with two marked points, A and B, precisely describe the straight edge and compass moves required to construct the triangle A, B, C in the diagram. So remember, we started with um, just two points, A and B. So I'm just going to kind of redo this over here, talk through it, and then write it out. So we had points A and B. So first thing we kind of see is, is these big circles. And so we constructed a circle with center A that, and radius AB so that it would go through B. So we did a center at A and made it go through point B. Then we constructed another circle centered at B that also has a radius AB so that it would go through point A. Then you'll see that they labeled the top intersection as point C and then connected um, segments AB. Let me get a smaller segment here. Then they connected segments AB, BC, and CA, and then they ended up with the triangle. So we just need to write that out. So um, number one, and let's get a smaller font here. So for number one, create um, a circle with center A and radius AB. That was the orange one. Second step was create a circle with center B and radius AB so that they're the same size. Number three was to label um, the topmost intersection of circle A and circle B as point C. Number four um, was then to connect. Connect points A, B, and C with segments. And then let me just get a background here so that you can kind of see all of this. There you go. All right, number four, this diagram was created by starting with points C and D and using only straight edge and compass constructions um, for the rest. All steps of the construction are visible. Select all steps needed to produce this diagram. So did we need to construct a circle centered at A? Is there a circle around point A and there is not? Construct a circle centered at C. So do we have a circle around C? We do. Okay, here's that circle. So that is a true statement. Construct a circle centered at D. So do we have a circle at D? And we certainly do. Label the intersection points of the circle as A and B. So are these two um, intersection points labeled A and B? And they are then draw a line through points C, D. So did we draw a line through C and D? And we did not. And then finally draw a line through points A and B. Did we do that? And we certainly did in that diagram. So that one is true as well. Number five, this diagram was constructed using a straight edge and compass tools. A is the center of one circle. So A is the center of this green circle. C is the center of another circle. So the orange circle. Um, select all true statements. So is AB, let's see. So is AB um, equal to BC? So we want to kind of look for radii and we see that um, we don't 
we have a radius here, AB of the green circle, but BC is not a radius of the green circle. So those two are not congruent to each other. Is AB equal to BD? So um, neither of those, well, AB is a radius of the green circle, but BD is not a radius of anything because it doesn't connect to the center. It doesn't connect to A or C. So those are not congruent. Is AD equal to two ACs? Okay, so AD is this whole segment. Here's AC. So AC is a radius. Is AD equal to two of these and it is because CD is also a radius of the orange circle and so is AC. So these two segments AC and CD are the same and they make up the big segment of AD. So AD is two ACs. Um, is BC equal to, so let's get BC, so here is BC. Is BC equal to um, CD? So is BC equal to CD? They are both radii of the orange circle. So that is true. They are the same length. And then BD and CD. So are these two the same length? And that would be no because BD is not a radius of anything. <laughs> 